And here are the correct answers. If you got the same answers, congratulations! Let us now have the recap. Crossword puzzle. Read the clues below and fill in the correct answer. And here are the answers. If you got the same answer, congratulations!
technique depends upon the size and location of the wound, your first aid skills, and materials at hand. Number 3. Bandage firmly over bleeding and securely over the broken bone. Not so tight so as not to cut off blood circulation. Four, when wrapping bandages around the body such as knees, ankles, neck, and small back, use its natural hollows to slide the bandage gently into place. Number five, since most injuries swell, check regularly to ensure that the bandage is still comfortable and that it remains firmly secured. Number six, Secure the bandage with a tape, clips, or a bow or square knot. Ensure that the bandages, especially the knots, do not touch the skin. How to do a square knot? Right over left and left over right. Take time to study the picture. Wounds a wound is a break in the continuity of tissue in the body. It may be close in which there is no break or damage in the skin. It is also called hematoma or concussions. A wound may also be an open wound in which there is break in the skin. Kinds of open wound A. Puncture Puncture is a piercing wound caused by nails, needles, and other pointed objects. B. Abrasion. Abrasion is caused by rubbing or scraping the skin against a rough surface. C. Incision. Incision is a cut caused by knife, broken glass, or any sharp object. D. Laceration. Laceration is a blunt breaking or tearing of soft tissues usually resulting from mishandling tools and other accidents. Activities. Activity number one, wound and bandage. Choose from the pictures below the correct type of bandaging for the specified injuries. Number one, an incision on a chest. Number two, an abrasion on the cheek. 3. A puncture on the foot. 4. A laceration on the arms. 5. An avulsion on the head.
Pure Jungle. If you got the correct answers, congratulations! Activity number 2. Be grateful and resourceful. Place down some materials at home or in school that can be used as dressings and bandages. Write them in the box. Include their uses and importance. Now, it's time for the wrap-up activity. Activity number 3, the first aid. Pick 3 injuries from the previous activity. Write the first aid procedure to address each injury. Next, evaluate. Write a reflection on the things you learned in this lesson and their relevance to you. Tell how you can apply what you learned in your daily life and cite the specific instances in which you feel these learnings will come handy. Now, let's proceed to the post test. Matching type. Arrange the scrambled letters in column A to form words related to first aid. Connect them to their correct definition or purpose in column B and to their pictures in column C. And here are the correct answers. If you got the same answers, congratulations! I hope you have learned something from today's lesson. Thank you 